Welcome back guys, it's time to pick my pay-per-views for the rest of this year. I'm gonna go with the heavy hitters, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam. I gotta go with the ones that are the perennial all-stars. Since I'm on Raw, oh wait, hold up. I have something special planned for Holy the Kid this week. I really don't want anything to do with what Vicky Guerrero has for me. The last time I did some work with her, she completely put me in a an awkward position, I guess you could say. Um, either way, taking on John Cena, took him on and defeated the, I don't know what he's called now, but Super Cena, I, I, I defeated him. So, end of this match, Holy the Kid is, you know, kind of celebrating and kind of rejoicing at the fact that he won, but as I'm getting ready to leave, I hear that music. Oh man, this this can't be good because it appears that the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar has, whatever, for whatever reason, chosen Holy the Kid as, I don't know, a victim or, you know, what his business is out here. He and uh, Paul Heyman have interrupted Holy the Kid for some reason. I, don't know, I really don't know what their plans are going to be. They have. It doesn't look like it's going to be good for Holy the Kid, I can tell you that much. <laughs> it looks like they're walking to the ring with a purpose. Um, uh, either way, Holy the Kid's going to be ready for it. I, I, maybe he's coming to, you know, to show respect. Maybe he's coming to try to bash my, my brains in. I really don't know just yet. That's all right. We're going to figure this out. It's, I'm not a fan. I, I am a fan of Paul Heyman. If, if they weren't out here to, you know, in these circumstances, I would... You know, I guess shake Paul Heyman's hand or something. I don't know. I don't know what I would do, but this just doesn't look good for all the kid. I mean, yeah, Lesnar's looking to square up, and I mean he's a big dude, but Holy the kid's not just gonna back down from. Him. And okay, oh crap! All right, this oh dog on it. Yeah, that didn't end well. Almost broke him, almost broke me in half. Gosh, all right. That obviously wasn't the smartest decision that Holy the Kid made. Um, sometimes his heart is, too, is bigger than his brain. Granted, it was not going to take going to back down from anybody, but he may have just chosen his battles a little bit better. All right. So, Beast is back. But no, 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 no. I want to do this, but I want him at a pay-per-view. If he's going to attack me, I want him in the biggest stage possible. That's what I want. So can you, can, no, won't be facing hope. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Whatever. That's, my client has taken interest in your match. Oh, so now he's taking an interest. All right. So, you know what? Over a couple of matches, the Holly the Kid has done some work, has, has you know, done what he does. He electrify, electrifies the crowd. You know, puts opponents down one, two, three with the Hullinator, as you see right there. But for what I don't know why they, I don't know if this something has something to do with what Vicky Guerrero said. I don't know if she's paid them off and you know chosen. I don't, I don't know. I guess I pissed them off enough. That's all right. You want to attack me, Hully the Kid is going to attack you, baby. You want to come and jump me from behind? This is what you're going to get. Okay, you done it now. Next match at the next pay per view, and it will be a no disqualification match. Guaranteed to be nice. Let's. Oh, I defeated the, the strange one, Goldust. Anybody realize how, how much Goldust has gotten better as he's gotten older? I don't know if you guys actually watched the, um, the actual show, but for some reason, uh, Goldust in his older age is more of a. He's a better wrestler, in my opinion than when he was, you know, back during the Attitude Era. He just kind of fell, you know, fell by the wayside. But, I don't know. That was pretty good. I mean, obviously, I hugged the kid defeated him. But, uh, oh, all right. Let's take a listen here, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. These two men are here to sign a contract to make an official. No disqualifications match this Sunday with Brock Lesnar. Gentlemen, if you would, 
knees. It's Brock. He's here. He's here. He was faking the injury. Oh, no. This is not good. Look out. F5 through the table. We need to get someone out here fast. Oh, man. I don't think he's going to be able to make it to the pay-per-view after that. I knew something was up. So they decided to try to take out Hulley the Kid before the match at SummerSlam. That's all right, because this is a notice qualification match and come to find out this for the world, the WWE Heavyweight Championship. So, Holy the Kid is going to bring out all the stops to defeat the Beast Incarnate, guys. Enjoy, enjoy, I'll be back. From Jackson, Mississippi, The Kid. There's the bell, and here we go. amazing to think that Brock Lesnar has dedicated his life to competition in some sort of ring. I mean, Lesnar has been an NCAA champion, a WWE champion, an IWGP champion in Japan, and a UFC champion. Wherever Brock Lesnar goes, he takes. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Ooh, a destructive shot from Lesnar. Nice move! And now, Brock Lesnar under attack. And he reversed it! Good move there. Nice reversal there. Now back to the ring. out in these no disqualification matches at times it's the most innovative superstar the one that comes up with a unique way of dealing damage that's able to score the win and they may have made a mistake thinking that Lesnar was finished oh back to the head back to the temple I guess he's done with that move yeah but what's he going to do next Down 
goes Lesnar. Ah! And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating here. Whoa, he's measuring. And the Scorpion nails it. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Here comes a steel chair in the ring. Watch your back, boys. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Brock Lesnar going to work now. Reversal. Man. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. And he's heading back in. And that thing can cause a whole lot of damage. This could be over quick. Using the steps is a weapon. Three. Uh-oh. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Oh, mama. I'd get out of the way right about now. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But, man, this has been physical. Looks like we're going back inside. Great move. And here's those vicious steel steps again. Six. And the ref continues to draw closer to the count of ten. more how much more are you willing to pay to win this match this is unreal and he gets back in the ring oh, wow. Woo, a little showboating going on here uh oh trying to put him away how awesome was that see it one more time shoulders down two three and that's the match let's go to the highlights here and here's just some of the action we saw during the match Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, The Kid. Finally, thankfully, the match comes to an end. And domination is what that was.
Kid get, did it, guys. I won the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar. Ah, look at that. In recent events, decided to take a leave of absence. I put the Beast Incarnate out to pasture. I took him out. And, oh wow, it looks like that's it. I, that may, I think that's the end of it, guys. I think that's the end of the My Career mode. Well, yeah, I think that may be the end of it. After we skip all these credits. If this is the end of it, then I'm going to be... Okay, all right, it's not the end of it. After winning the championship, Holy the Kid joined the likes of John Cena, the Rock, Stone Cold, dominant champion. After 15 years, only one thing is left. One final match. This... So I guess it skips ahead. All right, so I guess it skips ahead 15 years after Holy the Kid wins his first WWE championship. WWE... Let's see, rumor you have one match. What would I like to do? Baron Blade, no. Daniel Bryan, maybe. Want to pass a torch. You know what? Let's wait and see, guys. In the next episode, I will make my decision. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.